Okay, boys and girls, I thought somebody asked on the forum about uh, bringing in Daz uh, props to iClone through Exchange. They weren't able to find, figure out how to, or, or I guess using either the test program or something, to get things to um, be selectable and work as sub props. So I thought I would show a very, very quick tutorial on this. Uh, hopefully those of you that already know how to do it, don't pay attention. This is just a uh, a prop that's actually a vehicle prop. You know, there's vehicles uh, as a sub item in DAS. So I exported this police car um, and I exported it as an FBX first. I wanted to show you uh, both things that happen here. So um, here's, I'll open this up as an FBX. So you might, you might try this. You might say, well, I'm opening this up as an FBX and I can't get the wheels and the doors. Yeah, I'll keep promoting that stuff. I can't get the wheels and the doors uh, to be separate. How can I move the wheels or open the doors or, you know, do that stuff? Um, and that's what we want because there's really no point in having a prop like a car if you can't move the wheels for sure. So here's the prop as it comes in as an FBX. Okay, and you see there's items here that say things like wheels and steering wheel and... Um, doors, you know, and we would like those to be sub props. So you make sub prop right up here, but there really isn't any way to select those. You, even if you go here and select that wheel, you can't make it a sub prop. Notice that? That's because it's all uh, parented under this main body thing. Now I, I show in another video how you could bring this into, for example, the blender and select those items off. And you can do that. That's fine if you have that ability, but we don't need to because uh, because there's another way of doing this. Because as an FBX, this is what happens when you import props and items in. And um, so here, I also exported it, also exported it as an OBJ. So here's that same exact car as an OBJ. So we're going to import it in as an OBJ. I'll show you the difference here. So here it comes in as an OBJ. And now you'll see these separate items are not parented underneath this magic thing. So if I go to this door, for example, and then I make it invisible, up ah, the door disappears. Okay, so now I can make that into a sub prop. Make it into a sub prop, and I want to edit the pivot on these things because you always want the uh, pivot on a sub prop to be, uh, excuse me, that, that, that's good. You want the pivot to be, um, you know, where you can see it. So if we first make it to the center, actually we want to, you know, see root. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's move it. Uh, 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 uh. I'm trying to edit this pivot here. I'll get here eventually. There we go. All right. So we want it to be the pivot of the door. So the door is going to open, you know, something like that. Wherever, wherever that door pivot actually is. I'm trying to remember how they, they pivot this. So somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay. So now you've got this sub item here, the sub prop. And I'm not, and you can do the same thing for the wheels. You know, we go in and we select each wheel and make those into a sub prop too. So we can, and then edit the pivot for that and make that uh, pivot center, obviously. So I won't do all the rest of the stuff. I just wanted to show you this part. So now we're gonna apply this to iClone. So when iClone, and now that we've um, made some props and uh, out of those particular uh, items, we can also animate them separately. So now when they come in here, so now you can go ahead and you can, you can animate the car itself. You can have the car, you know, move and if you do that, um, the props move with it, so that's good. The sub props move with it, but you can also animate the the sub props. So you can go here and you can open the door. Well, whoops, oops, opening the door the wrong way. All right, let's let's make sure we got the uh, uh, to the local rotate. There we go. Okay, open the door the correct way. I have to make sure it's. It's rotated locally to its own pivot and not to the to the general pivot of the item. So so now as the car moves, and then we'll close the door because when you're moving, you don't want that to happen. And so there you go. So that's how you do that. And the same thing. Same thing goes for the wheel. You would also animate that separately. Um, you know, and you you actually think that pretty soon with Python we're going to have the ability to uh, to program this so we can actually have the wheels rotate at the, at the proper rate and speed. And I'll, I'll, I'll write a routine for that if somebody else doesn't. So, um, so anyway, 
So, so that's it. So that's, uh, that's how to create items. And so you might say, well, Mike, why do I want to export as FBX if, if I can't select separate items? Well, in general for props, you, you, can, you don't want to export as FBX from DAS. From, from DAS for a, a prop item that has things, you can export as OBJ and it, and it works just fine. FBX export is actually better for, uh, definitely for characters, you have to do that for characters, but also for large environments and scenes where they don't have individual items that you need to move around and things. FBX works a little better because it has uh, a lot of the textures that uh, OBJ doesn't have. Uh, and there's a way to get those textures too, but I don't want to go into that today. I don't want to make this very short. So if you ever need to find out how to get those textures over, I could also make a combined video to show you how to do all that too. So anyway, that's all for now. Talk to you later.